Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title of this video, we're gonna be doing an updated video of how to do waves. I figured it was time to update you guys on how I do these gorgeous Instagram, Pinterest waves. And I'll be doing it on a client of mine today. And I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So before she gets here, I just figured I would show you guys this amazing, I wanna say this is an inch and, it's either an inch and a quarter or an inch and a half barrel. I am not 100% sure, but this is such an amazing, amazing curling iron. We're gonna be using this on Yessi today, so I can't wait to show you guys how her waves turn out. Let's get started. Okay, so here we have her hair, just freshly colored, freshly toned. She has literally the best thick hair ever. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do waves on her hair. Okay, so obviously I didn't section it perfectly. Don't judge me, guys. This is literally just for demonstration. Okay, guys, so taking that first section, gonna curl that away from the face. I hold it there for a couple seconds, then let it go. The next section, wow, forgive my dog, excuse me. The next section, I'm going to also curl away from the face. And generally, I will alternate it at this point, but I decided to do it away from the face as well. Now, the next section that I'm going to be taking is going to be um, in the opposite direction, but it's still going to be considered away from the face from the opposite side, obviously. And... I'm also going to be doing the same to the next section. Okay, so as you guys can see, I am going to repeat the same thing in the next section. Basically, just going to curl it away from the face. And I'm literally just going to be focusing on one section of the head at a time. All right. So, again, focusing on one section of the head at a time. I'm going to take another section and curl it away from the face. Essentially, it's being curled away from that side of her face, if that makes sense. And I also want to just kind of focus on this part of um, what I want to describe to you guys right now is, I'm sure you guys are noticing that I don't hold it for very long. So, Okay, wait, this section, I'm curling it towards the face. Sorry, just kind of follow me along here. I'm really trying to pinpoint exactly um, what I'm doing. But anyways, so I hold it for a few seconds. The reason being is because I set the temperature higher. And don't be afraid to set the temperature of your curling iron a little bit higher um, this really ensures that you get the curl done right, but you lessen heat damage. Okay, so the reason that I'm saying that you will minimize heat damage is because even if you're turning it up higher, you're holding it on the hair a lot less time. 
versus if you turn the heat low, but you're literally holding it forever on your hair, it's still going to damage more at that point. Um, as you guys can see, we're moving on to that next quadrant of the head. We're going to move the um, way that we're curling it, and that's going to create movement with the waves. As you can see, I'm moving on this side here, and most of the curls that I do on the side are away from the face. I absolutely love the look of the waves when doing this. I highly recommend you guys try this. I also think it really accentuates the color of the hair in the front of the face, especially with face framing pieces. All right, moving on to the next section again and curling that first section away from the face and Honestly, you guys have to play with waving your own hair um, really just to work out what works best with your face shape and what you're going to like, honestly, because I feel like there's so many ways that you can curl your hair, but you have to try this for yourself to really see what's going to work out for you. But this is my favorite. So... I really wanted to give you guys an opportunity to see these clips in real time. I believe that it's really, really helpful. I did not want to speed this up for any reason. This video is obviously for educational purposes so that you guys can know how to do these waves at home. Also, the secret to these waves is literally practice, practice, practice. Seriously, practice. <laughs> you guys will thank me later. Alrighty, so here we are moving on to the sides. And of course, as I mentioned in the earlier parts of the video, I usually take the first two front sections and curl them away from the face. And I do just want to make mention that um, this is just what I found works for most of my clients and even myself. And for the rest of the video, I'm going to be speeding up most of the clips since you guys already kind of have an idea of how to do the curls, I definitely don't want to bore you guys with a super long, awkward video of just curling. So uh, that'll be the next portion of this video. And I do want to make mention, obviously, you want to use a heat protectant at all times when curling or straightening your hair. Obviously, it's a no-brainer, and um, you should be using a heat protectant. I'm not sure why I didn't show that at any point in the video. <laughs> I think I was just trying to save time and space on my computer, but anyways, um, yeah, using a heat protectant for curling or straightening is so important, so please do not forget to use it. All right, so taking this detangling brush, this is by Color Prof, I believe it's called Color Prof, and just gonna brush out the waves. Oh my gosh, her hair is so shiny, glossy, and just looks so good. Look at that gorgeous shine, oh my goodness. refreshed color just looks so good and that's how you do the waves guys and uh, 
I'll link all the things used in the description. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. Yes, I've got toner hands from what we did. Um, unfortunately, just even washing our hair, this is what happens. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope that it was helpful and I will see you guys in my next video. God bless, have a great day guys, bye.